So I will tell you about the last, <clears throat> the latest events. It has been very hard autumn, extremely intensive, but we have the last rays of light coming in. Look at this beauty. Yeah. There is some light and there is some hope. We just have to endure all the heavy times. And they are big now, they are tearing us. So, <clears throat> the good news is that our gallo is still where it is. It is, no, not there. It is there, <laughs> under the big pine tree. That's where the gallo is. That gray box. And we are establishing civil defense forts we are going strong into indigenous peoples gathering halls the historical places and we're demanding access to them and here is the beautiful beautiful field with Winter weed. Winter white bread seeds. Here we will have all the predecessors. Spirits of the whole world summoned in when I will call for them now. <clears throat> 7,100 language tribes. I want to come here and help me. To take back our mother earth from the enemy that has occupied our beloved mother. I love you so much, beloved species of the world. We stand here and defend all species of Mother Earth. Her right to life and happiness in welfare given to us by our 
predecessors. So, as it is quite cold, we will probably go in and I will tell you the method. The method how through any legislations you bring the defense of humanity forward. We have to do it together methodologi methodologically in the same way. So here is the throne, here is the gallows. And the new strategy is not to scare people that are occupying leading positions by the gallow, although it is there and it is lawful gallow. And they, through the laws of Rome, are all guilty, as they have injected humanity with gene modification, sterilization, and remote nanotechnology bioweapons so <clears throat> and erected microwave weapons in the cities creating death camps of our cities and there is Did you see it? They are preparing war. Now they will start takeovers with fake war commanders that will murdering their own people. That's their next move. Oh gosh. That's what they're preparing. That's why we wear. Okay, but about the strategy, I'll finish. So it's not, we're not hanging the leaderships. No, we are demanding that they get detox from remote control bioweapons, because they cannot be leaders when they are obeying occupation. Death camp administration. That's the change of strategy. So we don't want to use this gallow now. Broadly, it's the detox of leadership that shall be mainly used. So you saw the proof. The big jet flew by, and I even got it filmed. That was very synchronistic. And I still have carrots here. Look at them. <laughs> so, we have to stop these uh, <clears throat> warm anglers, and warm anglers are forbidden in all usual Roman law. You, if you check your national instructions that are called national laws, they're not really national laws, but they, anyway, even in those instructions, they have law that is called war mangler, criminal war mangling.
get them by that. That's what we do. Warm mangling is a criminal offense. And then we will use methods of civil defense. That's what we do. Civil defense is a very important thing. And in when you do civil defense, it is very important that you do not obey the enemy. In civil defense, you have to be sure that you are obeying the right commander who is not murdering your people, you see. And that is not established in any nation. That's the main problem we have. The commanders that everybody is made to follow are the enemy staff. So, here we are in the courthouse. And I've had the pleasure of uh, <coughs> meeting Lars Rubius Ostrola today, our prosecutor. But he couldn't attend this meeting now as he had other very important things to do. But we were, all three of us, we were in a very important meeting two days ago on Saturday. And that was a meeting of the district of <clears throat> village houses, village meeting houses. I don't know how to call it in English. It's not pubs because there is no alcohol, in, but it's sort of a village gathering halls. So <clears throat> it was very good meeting. We were there for three hours and it was absolutely divine. So this was on 11th November, 11-11, year 23. And it was near Falsköping in uh, Västra Götaland in Sweden. And uh, <clears throat> it was a dis Scarabori district village house meeting and uh, <clears throat> we went there and there the first hour there was a presentation of a very experienced military administrator of high rank of Swedish government who is now in pension he's 78 years old but he is one of the board members of a company <coughs> that has gathered all Swedish village house societies under one umbrella organization and it is called Sveriges Bygdegårdsförbund and what they have done, the trick they have done to destroy the civil defense there is that they have registered it as commercial company. The whole umbrella with, I think there was something like 440 Sweden village house societies gathered under one umbrella. And then they, what they do is they take over that umbrella organization and make it to impose World Economic Forum's Agenda 2030. And that is Transhuman Convergence Agenda, getting all people into slaves camp cities, 15-minute cities, uh, with all these microwave mast weapon systems where they are blasted with all these <clears throat> sterilizing and mind-controlling and sickening technologies, waves. And uh, <clears throat> Furthermore, of course, all the fake 
money that they call digital money, but it's all just one program's point system. It's uh, Hunger Games, slave point system, just Chinese program with versions in the whole world's language adjustments, uh, language and culture adjustments. Anyway, so we were there and uh, that big um, umbrella organization has the, its district organizations. We were at that Scarabors district organization and they have, I don't know, maybe 20, 40 organizations where they have village houses under their control. And it was so perfect because there's a um, high um, military administrator of uh, Swedish official um, Mindehet. Who do they bring us down? So he had worked as general director of all military uh, property. He was general director of all military property, all the facilities of mil that ha uh, military have in Sweden. For many years he has, in the 80s, 90s, he was general director. Then he was general director also for uh, Department of Psychological Attack, Mindehiet for Psychologisk Försvar. They say that it's defense, psychological defense, but they are creating psychological attacks, just as COVID PSYOP is a psychological attack before they inject you with weapons of mass destruction. Anyway, he, was, he had been a general director, and furthermore, he was also member of Kriegswetenskops Academy, that is War Science Academy. He had been uh, chief of some department number five there before. So he was there to talk to these people in this district, to the leaders of these houses, how they will Swedish military, Försvarsmakten, business company registered in <clears throat> Duns and Bradstreet register in uh, District of Columbia in Washington, how Försvarsmakten will be using these village houses for their means. So they want to take over all 440 village houses to use for the military. But his presentation was very good. He really showed how they destroyed Swedish civil defense, called Civilförsvaret, and how they did tricks on the law of it, because they have two separate words now, two separate <clears throat> law words that are in the constitution, but they are the same words. So it's civil försvaret in one word and civil försvar in two words. And they are totally different things. And they destroyed civil försvaret, the first 1990, they put a new law to destroy the one that was before that, established in 1960s, where they had 200,000 personnel to defend civilians. They destroyed it all. And in the beginning of 2000, 2000 there was nothing left of it. They destroyed it all. They dismantled the whole civil defense system of Sweden because they said that there is no threat because they wanted to dismantle it all everywhere. It's not only Sweden. 
And then they built up something new and they call it Sivil, Fushvar, the same thing but in two words. So that everybody is totally confused. They think that it's the old thing and not the new thing. Okay, it's very, very clever psychological trap for usual people. They think that it's the same old thing where they will go and defend their people. But this is not. This other civil försvaret is making usual people to work for those who are murdering their people. That's what they have created. And they have totally succeeded. Everybody is totally hypnotized. They think that they're working to save the people while they are working to murder their own people. And there is absolutely no control of who is in the top, who is giving commands. No, nobody is, no verification validation method at all of who are the people running all these military commands. They just show you in TV Budian, they show you in TV Christian, they show you in TV... <clears throat> Bernadotte, and then they say, and now you have to go and do this and that and that. And everybody follows, just like sort of, they think that it's the, the old civil fishwar, but it's not. So that's how they got 90% of people to go and inject into them bioweapons. Very, very clever. Of course, they prepared it all. This, this was prepar prepared by the same people, this uh, Bjorn, so, <clears throat> Schör Löf, his name is, he has been preparing all this, the whole trap, There, everybody went in. Now he's pretending that he's preparing the defense, but he's preparing the mass murder of everybody. And he was there and he gave us his speech and it was actually quite good for me to understand how we will now unfold the defense in a real way. So what he said was this, these two different systems that are so confusing. So we use that, we dismantle this new system, we go to we back go back to the previous civil Peshwars. And of course we have to go back to the previous sheriff system and the previous <clears throat> so these village houses, those are the places where villages were holding their local courts where they were holding their local uh, resource accountings, where they were holding their local <clears throat> Cas uh, treasure, treasures, where they were gathering together everything. So they could create rationing and they could create uh, the sharing of the resources they had in these villages. But now this umbrella organization does not allow people into those houses, you see. The local village people cannot accept those houses anymore. Nowhere in Sweden, Swedish people can ac access these village houses anymore to organize themselves to hold truth commissions to discuss the problems they have and uh, to prepare for this horrifying time they're bringing forward there are no meeting places though it is so cold out there now people have to go into forests or into the fields to meet and fro freeze you can see a video how we were trying to get into one of these houses. They hold them empty, closed. And they say that these houses are owned by some <clears throat> company that is sort of a, a society, village house society, and it's registered in this commercial registry and that they have right to... Mm. 
not give access to people, to the houses that were built for the people. Okay? So, therefore, there are no sheriffs, there are no lawful sheriffs, no lawful police, no lawful military, because they all these village houses were supposed, that's how people organized themselves and created the state together. And if people can't organize this uh, through this system, then everything above it is unlawful, you see. Because there is no lawful base. They have stolen these lovely <coughs> um, They have, uh, this um, is actually a war crime that they have stolen, these umbrella organizations have stolen these lovely um, village houses where people have to meet now to organize their civil defense. And if they will organize their civil defense, but that is in one word, then the war criminals will say that it is civil defense in two words and they command over it. So it has to, uh, they have to obey Klaus Schwab's plan and they have to do everything Klaus Schwab has planned. And the real <laughs> civil defense in one word will never exist. The people will be totally having a shortcut in their head what, why are there two words? Why are there two words <laughs> that mean totally different things? So thanks to uh, Björn Scherlöf, who openly said that. He said, this is our key. And the second key, lawfully, we have to, in the Constitution of Sweden, there is a uh, Capital. How, how it is in English? Capital. Part 14. Uh, chapter. chapter 15. And in that chapter 15, they talk about occupation of the country. And they explicitly say that citizens are not allowed to obey occupying forces are not allowed to obey occupying forces. We have to resist and are not allowed to support occupying forces. But everybody now is doing exactly that. And that was very beautiful that we have now that key. We demand Verification validation of the highest commanders and their companies and their proof of loyalty to us. They have no. And the whole financial payment system is a slave camp program from China. So just doing those two angles gives us the solution gives us the remedy and makes us victorious. So we will be victorious. We will put these solutions into our take backs of our beloved village houses where we will meet and protect our families, our people, and the whole world. We will put the same methods into take backs of all the departments of our state and all the international organizations. And um, for that, we will need Humans Earth Heritage Bond and me, mine, as judges, highest judge of World Indigenous Human Love Order, Court of Gotland, my court of Nirunberg II, 
has given five degrees that you download from loveorder.info and there you will, as degree number five, you will have your human, human's earth heritage bond with 125 billion world indigenous rooms that you own as your share of our Mother Earth's resources. That's your bond, my friend. And that is through your bond to me, because I am the issuer of one quadrillion wild indigenous runes, that is one with 24 zeros, for takebacks of love order creation on Earth. For every nation, for all 7,100 language groups on our beloved mummy earth. Everybody is rich now, cherished and protected by me. Beat of Godland. And you use those bonds <coughs> with, with your shares in your local government, in your local villages, cities, towns, unions, and also all the international organizations and war organizations for takebacks. We are bringing down all war manglers. They are unlawful. And we have to replace them. So don't be lazy. Don't be afraid. Rise and do this job together with me. So I love you. I love you so much. And uh, as long as this love is swarming me, well, you have a chance. So don't give up. Let's win.